will begin working on typing and formatting our Diamante poems. To get started, you're going to go to your desktop and look for the icon for Microsoft Office Word 2007. Double click it. When Word opens, you're ready to start typing your Diamante. The first thing you want to do is click center and we're going to type our Diamante right down the center of our paper. We want to begin with a title. So whatever your Diamante is called, you want to put that as your title with the word Diamante in it. Now I'm going to click two times or enter two times to space down for my next line. One, two. Now I'm ready for my first word and I'm going to capitalize it. One, two. Now I'm ready for my next words and I'm going to capitalize them. One, two. I'm ready for the third line. One, two. We're ready to type our phrase or our four nouns. Make sure when you type your sentence that you put punctuation at the end. One, two. We're ready for our fifth line. And now we're just going to finish it up. We will end it by spacing two times and putting by and then spacing once and our last name. Now we're ready to start formatting and giving this Diamante poem a little pizzazz. First, let's go to the title, and we want to make our title into a word art title. So we're going to highlight our title, and we're going to go up to the top to insert and over to word art. And we're going to choose whatever style of word art that interests us. I'm going to choose this one. Now you can edit your title if anything doesn't look right. Make sure that each word in your title that needs to be capitalized is, and you're ready to hit OK. Once you have your word art title, you can click on it and go up to the top and choose Select. You can change the color of it. You can change the outline on some of the word titles. And you can even change the shape of how it appears. Once you have a word art title that looks nice and is easy to read, we're ready to start working on our text. We're going to highlight all of the text of our poem, and we can change the style to anything that we like. And we can change the size so it fills the page. We want it to fill this page, but not exactly go to a second page. So 18 would be too large, 16 is going to be just right. Now you can see there's no wasted space at the bottom of our paper and our poem fills the page. You can change the color of your text. Make sure you're still on the home ribbon up here and you can click on the arrow next to the A to find a nice color that you like. Make sure it still makes your text easy to read. Now we're ready to look for a picture. You have to make sure you're clicked somewhere on the paper. Your cursor is somewhere here on the paper, your insertion point. So I like to click somewhere right in the middle and we're going to go to insert clip art. Now this is the same place we went to for word art, except this time we're going to use clip art. When you're looking for a clip art image, you want to make sure that you're searching in everywhere, all collections. This will look online and it'll look in the office collections, web collections, everything. And I'm going to look up day or night or maybe just the sun. It'll take a second to look for the images, and then they will pop up in the box right here. When you find the image that you like, simply click on it, and it'll now appear on your paper. You can close the clip art box. And don't worry if your text goes on to a second page. Now this is the hardest part. We have to make sure that our picture goes behind the text, but still that our text is easy to read. So we're going to be up here on the format link, and we're going to do a couple of options here to our picture. First, you want to click on text wrapping. It's the button with the cool little dog on it. We're going to click on that, and we're going to send our, text, our image behind the text. 
That'll move our text back onto one page, but we can't read the poem. So now I'm going to go to recolor, and I'm going to choose one of the light variations or my favorite, washout, where I can still see the picture, but I can easily read my text. You can drag this picture where you want. You can resize it to be a little bigger. And now we're ready to move on. Next, we're going to insert a page border around our page. What we're going to do is go up to the top and go to Page Layout, and we want to choose a page border. A page border will put a border around our entire paper. I'm going to go down to the bottom, make sure you're on page border, and I want to choose art. Find something that goes very well with your poem title. I see I have the sun here. That'll look nice. So I will probably select that one. When you select your border, you can choose how wide it is, and some of them you can even change the color. I'll hit OK. Now we have a border around our paper. Finally, I would like to change the color of my white paper. That's kind of boring. Right here next to page borders, it says page color. I would like to change the paper to a color that looks nice, but still makes my paper easy to read. I like the orange, and we're done. We finally need to save it. I'm going to go up to the Office button and click it once and go down to Save As. Click on Save As. You do not have to click on any of these simply click on save as. I'm going to scroll down to the left and you're going to have a little button on the left called computer. Click on that. Now you're going to go to your H drive. Your H drive will have an H and it will have your lunch number instead of your name. Mine says D. Dean. Yours will have your lunch number. Double click that. You want to make sure at the top of your screen that you're saving it in the H drive with your lunch number so you'll be able to open it tomorrow. So now I'm going to go down here and click under file name and I'm going to enter my first and last name and Diamante. I click save and I am now finished with this project.